Today we're going to be talking about how to evaluate integrals of the form sine of mx times sine of nx dx. And in this particular problem, we've been given the integral of sine of 3x times sine of 6x dx. And we need to evaluate this integral. As it stands, it seems like it would be difficult to simplify and evaluate. But given this particular form of an integral, we can use this simplifying identity here for sine of a times sine of b. And the reason that we're talking about this form in particular is because with a lot of integrals, we don't have this kind of clean cut formula. We have to, on a case by case basis, figure out how we're going to simplify, how we're going to evaluate. But when we have a clear cut case like this where we can use an identity, we want to make sure that we know it so that when we come across these types of problems, we can quickly simplify. So when you have the product of two sine functions, like sine of a times sine of b, and regardless of the values of a and b, you can simplify that to one half times cosine of a minus b minus cosine of a plus b. So the first thing you want to do is identify values of a and b. And notice here that we have two sine functions. So you could really pick 3x for a and 6x for b or vice versa, and it wouldn't really matter because you could have had these two sine functions flip-flopped as in sine of 6x times sine of 3x. So how do you know what to pick for a and b? Well, the trick is because you have here cosine of a minus b, you want to pick, if you can, the larger value for a. So in our case, we have 3x and 6x. 6x is obviously the larger value in that case. So we want to go ahead and pick 6x for a. So we'll say that a is going to be equal to 6x and that b is going to be equal to 3x. And we'll use those values throughout this formula. So now to simplify the integral sine of 3x sine of 6x dx, we'll say that we'll follow the right hand side here and we'll say that the integral is now one half times cosine of a minus b so 6x minus 3x minus cosine of a plus b so 6x plus 3x dx and now it's just a matter of simplifying the integral as much as we can we'll pull the one half out in front because it's a constant coefficient and what we'll be left with is cosine of 3x minus cosine of 9x dx. Remember before we had the product of the two sine functions, which at first glance seemed like it would be difficult to simplify. Now we have the difference of two cosine functions, which we can evaluate separately. The integral of cosine is just sine. So when we integrate, we'll get 1 half times sine of 3x. But remember, we need to apply chain rule. Sine of 3x here is the integral of the outside function here because the integral of cosine is sine. So we took the integral of the outside function, leaving the inside function, 3x, completely untouched. But now we have to apply chain rule and divide by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of the inside function, 3x, is just 3. The derivative of 3x is 3. So we divide by 3. So we'll do that. Then here, cosine of 9x, the integral of cosine is sine. So we get minus sine of 9x, again, taking the derivative of the outside function, cosine, leaving the inside function, 9x, completely alone. Now we divide by the derivative of the inside function. And we can't forget to add c to account for our constant of integration. So when we simplify here, we'll bring this 1 third to the front, and we'll multiply it by our 1 half. So we'll get 1 sixth sine of 3x, we'll bring our 1 ninth to the front, multiply it by the negative sign here and the 1 half, and we'll get minus 1 over 18 sine of 9x, and then plus c. And that's it. That's our final answer. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.